Bubba built it. Howdy. What are we doing? Well, we we have an E34 Touring that we've owned for a long time. It was one of our first fun cars. And uh, it acted up on us years ago at Woodward. At Woodward Dreamcoops. And uh, we had to take the thermostat out because it got hot on us. We were in the Target parking lot when that happened. Yeah, and it was 100 degrees. It was ridiculous. Thankfully, hot. we were in a parking deck. Yeah, and so we took the, uh, with minimal tools, we took the uh, thermostat out and uh, got her home. And she still wanted to act a little funny, a little squirrely, so we parked her. And always had a really uh, soft spot in my heart for this car because we did the, the graphics, as you you will see. And it's a five-speed swap car, so it's just a fun car to drive. It was a fun car to own. And uh, it's been parked for too long. And so Lee and I are going to do the, will it start? <laughs> will it run? Will it run, yeah. <laughs> and I'm thinking maybe not <laughs> because... It was a little ornery last time we, we backed it into this spot. Actually, we pushed it back here, right? I don't remember cranking it. I think we pushed it. Well, the last time I do remember we cranked it, it was doing that crazy thing where it acted like it had a hole in the intake bellows because it was like, blah, 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 trying to give gas. And, uh, uh, like, it was not happy. Yeah. So, it wasn't happy five years ago when we parked it. I don't think it's going to be happy now. But, uh, yeah, those things tend don't tend to get better with no, age. No, they don't. They're not like fine wine. So. So another thing is we let, my son has an E34 and we let him pull the computer out to check an issue on his. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure it's even got the computer in it. So let's do that first. And it looks like it does. Woohoo! Let's see if she's got some oil in her. Uh-oh, I'm gonna break this off. There we go. All right, well, it's nice and black, but it is full. Sweet. So. All right, what about coolant? Well, no, <laughs> that's sure. always been the issue. Those wacky Germans. Those wacky Germans. They're always so great with their cooling systems. Yeah, I, I, was, I read an article one time, I think it was written by Peter Egan, the famous journal, uh, automotive journalist, and he said that BMW designs their cooling systems imagining a cool mountain drive through the Bavarian mountains. <laughs> I would agree with that. They're not, yeah. they're wonder, okay, that's another theory. If you love BMWs like we do, our love cuts off sharply in 1995. And the reason why? One of the reasons why is because they went to the aluminum block that if you overheat it once, it self-destructs. This sucker right here, I mean, you can drop it off a building and it's not, the engine itself is going to be fine. Um, there's a cast iron block, aluminum head. This M50 is one of the best engines they ever made. When they started going to the uh, the aluminum block, though, and then, and I know this firsthand because my brother had a 2000 model uh, five speed five five twenty five twenty eight, I think it was, and um, it, it was leaking a little bit around around the head because it had been overheated, and so they were like, "Well, let's put a, let's put a let's put a uh, let's just put a new head gasket, swap it out." Well, no, 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 because the the, the bolts had stripped and the head was not going to bolt down. They, they tried helicoils. It, the motor was junk. Yep. Overheated once. And junk. It, was a, it was a beautiful, amazing car. So, yep. honestly, delicate cars are not our thing. We don't love it. We were just talking about that. Yeah. If, you're, if you're delicate, if you're ornery, if you're persnickety, we're not... We take that as not being friendly. Yep. <laughs> so you go find yourself on a trailer to Wisconsin. <laughs> right. Something like that. <laughs> exactly. So, I see rat turns. That's not a good sign. I mean, and not small ones either. Look. Yeah. Ugh. Try to put that battery in. Yeah, it looks like it was making a nice little home right there. Yeah, I, yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? That was uh, that was from the factory right there. That that hole. No. Oh wait, no, it's not. No, it's bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So as you can see, again, those wacky Germans. There's no battery up here. No, of course not. You know where we're gonna put the battery? We're gonna put it back here. Under the back seat. Under the back seat, which is awesome. Which is a perfect place. You know what? It we really get this wood out of the way. Maybe we should pause the video. And yeah. That All right. We're going to, yeah, because I'm standing on, yeah. on plywood. I think the whole thing will be easier if we do that. Yeah. Awesome. All right. It's awesome floor mat. Yeah. We got a flat tire. Thankfully, we've got a compressor. Well, the tires handy. are crap. And yeah. So, one good thing about that, I think we had another set of M parallels, and these came off my son's car. Yeah. And he was driving it. And honestly, if these tires probably were five years old sitting like this, and they were still good, they would be bad. Anyway, so so he actually did get some use out of the good tires that were on this. This 
is a carpet from Autorama. Autorama. Yep. Yeah. And good good like, place for it. Yeah, great place for it. Well, at least it's in the garage. You know, we should probably take this back inside and throw it up on top of that thing where we had the other carpet. All right. Sounds good. The reason we did this is because it was damp. It before, was damp. Right? Yeah. We damp. got right off the trailer and threw it on top of it. Yeah. Here. Didn't smell good. Yeah. So let's go ahead. Actually, and actually smelled terrible. I bet you that did not improve either out here. Take the battery loose. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Got to have some tools. I don't know if you, the rest of the world, do you guys know about dirt daubers? Yeah, everybody knows about dirt daubers. People said they didn't have in Kentucky. What? Yep. They don't have fire ants? They don't have dirt daubers? What the heck? I mean, how do you even... All right. They do have terrible, cold, long winters. <laughs> yes, they do have that. How about we move that passenger seat? We can't. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Where is he? We got a nest somewhere. Yeah. There is a nest on the door, but there's nothing on it, so I guess he's the sentinel. I don't like them. Mm -hmm. That's not a dirt dauber. That is a wasp. That's a wasp. Okay, thanks to some good old fashioned wasp hornet killer, the problem has been alleviated. All right, yeah. and look how they got that thing in there. Those wacky Germans. Okay, so 13 millimeter. I guess we need a 13 millimeter and we need a. Uh, and as you can see, the battery that we've got is much smaller than the one that's in there. That's you know okay. why? Because we're too cheap to spend the $160? No, no, no. Try 190 190 190 $190 for a battery. Yeah, we are too cheap for that. Okay. So 13 millimeter and Phillips head. So cool. Yeah, so of course, whenever you're uh, you know, doing automotive work, you want to have something to carry your tools in. I don't know what's better than a Walmart bag. A Walmart bag. And inside, here, inside the Walmart bag we have, of course, <laughs> I think we're exceeding the weight limit. We should have doubled back. We really should have. <laughs> oh. well, I think you got a half inch in there, so I got the field set. All right. Why are you such a pessimist? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just like so these things don't get better with age. One thing we need to do once we get once we get the, the cycle is to is to bleed the uh, bleed the um, the airline the air out of the fuel line. Dang. Yeah. That sounds like the crypt. The crypt keeper bolt. Wow, look. <laughs> what? Like that battery is nine years old. Yeah, that's crazy. Where's our wonder, wonderful bag of tools? Okay, let's see All right. Yeah, so I think that battery was purchased new when the guy, when, before the guy sold it to us. Lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. Seriously. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, you should have had a craftsman. Oh, shut up. It's a piece of crap. Mm. I don't need to know about my tools. Oh, you, when you Bonnie buys to tools, she buys crap. Yeah, you need to buy a, <laughs> you need to buy some snap-on. Yeah, a snap-on truck doesn't come by here. That's true. All right. <clears throat> this thing, he just doesn't know what we do. <laughs> Uh, I think the bottom's going to come oh, out. Oh, it is. Yeah. That's actually a lock. I can see it now. I didn't uh -huh. see it before. Well, I don't know, folks. We have a 10 millimeter in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see right here. It'd be amazing if you do. An 11. <laughs> That's I amazing. Hate, 11 is the worst one ever <laughs> because you always have an 11. It's like a mirage. Why would I have an 11? I don't know. You know what this means? You got to go back inside. Back to this little yep. box. Alright, 10 millimeter. I don't know if I've ever said this before, but it's kind of one of my it's kind of one of my ethos is uh ethos -es, as that is, I don't know if that's the right uh, plural form of that. I hate me a battery tie down. I just assume in an accident a battery would be flying past my head. Mm. I just hate battery tie downs, they're pain in the butt. Well what do you think about that? I 
don't know. <laughs> you're not sure you're gonna find that. I'm not sure. I mean, because the the accident doesn't have to be catastrophic. Oh, that, Hell, that's mm. not a good start. Damn it. All right, so the bottom has to come out first. Yeah. Yeah, tilt it. Yeah, I mean, when we yeah. race lemons. Yeah, they required. A, they want a the robust, battery to be a part. A robust oh. battery tie down system. Yeah, they want the battery. Yeah, I, this I, thing's I, not gonna be easy to get out of here. Here. Jeez Louise. Let me let me take a stab at it. Uh, I think you're right. I think I gotta tilt it. Well, I'll tell you what, they weren't gonna fit any more battery in here than what they did. This is a ridiculous design. Seriously. I think we'll cut to the uh, SpongeBob thing where it goes. Yeah, three, three hours, hours later. later. <laughs> love that. <laughs> I thought you might. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Feel lousy sack of crap. It's gonna be like John Candy swearing at the uh, yeah. washing oh, machine. Was... <laughs> Uncle Buck. Yeah. <laughs> This is painful to watch. Is it? I think the production value is. Yes, I'm sure it has. <laughs> the production value. This is not. It's this back part here. It's. Let's see if I can slide it this. This is ridiculous. A battery this big for a daggum 2.5 liter. Oh, mother. Check. Oh. You okay? I'm... All right. No. Take take a moment. Yeah. It's better. Reasonably sized battery. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm betting right here that he's he's not going to put the uh, the tie down back on it. But <laughs> let's let's watch. Let's see. Yeah, you're right about that. All right. So now let's see what happens when I put power. Uh oh, something happened. We got lights. Oh, oh, no, no lights. Man, oh, we gotta, we gotta do some work on that, uh, that headliner. All right. Hey, where's the key? Well, one of them's in the back of the truck. Hey, stay where you are, and I'll hand it to you. And you can tell me if you turn it. Okay. Damn, it's not there. Huh. All right. The search for the key. It's our favorite game, actually. <laughs> it's it's time to play our favorite game. Where's the key? We typically hide keys in the vehicle somewhere, and so I mean, Who's you know, it's oh, we've got a duo today. We've got Michael and Lee with Treadwear, and they are looking for the key. Oh, Lee's going to actually check the most obvious spot yeah. above the visor. Mwah, never, mwah. Put it there. never put it there. Only a only a fool would do that, and I know you, I know you're not a fool, so mm -hmm. so I clearly cannot choose the glass that is in front of me. Yeah, so let's let's look under the driver's seat. That would be a good spot, right? Did you check that? No, I have not checked in. Yeah. Well, that is not in here. Yeah. Come on, Matt. It was stuck in the back of the trunk. Literally the other day, I was actually relieving myself and it was stuck right out of there. Okay, so did find a key. Don't know if this is gonna be the one or not because we actually have several BMWs. This looks like the correct ear for it. Uh oh. It works. Alright, get Michael out here. He's he's still looking for the key. <laughs> yeah, so the uh the camera lens is not dirty, it's the windshield it is so bad. Yeah, it's one of them. Yeah, uh, no, it's not. All right, you ready? Oh, uh, wait, wait. Did, did, you, did, you, did you cycle it a few times to see if the. Hold on, hold on. Let me find the, uh, the fuel rail because we're going to have to burp it. I don't think it's going to. 
for sure, you know what I mean? There is a bad gun fuel rail. Oh, oh there's the Look, it's got the Star Wars language coming up. What does that mean? <laughs> it means what the display's not working. It's trying to. What's, what's not doing what? The uh, display here. It's trying to come up. Yeah, see, that was another thing. The display was starting to go haywire on this too. I remember that. It's very convenient. It's not under that cover? No, that's, that, that's the coil pack sort of underneath that. Okay. That's right. Let's just try it. All right, here we go. All right. No. Nothing? This key may not operate that, actually. This may be just the locks. Yeah, so it's it's not turning it over? No. Is, it, I mean, is it, it's like it goes to a stopping it, Does point. it move, though, like it's spring-loaded to turn? It feels weird. Like... Yeah, because that's not the key that's in the trunk lid. That key, literally, Lee, just a couple weeks ago was in that trunk lid. Surely somebody didn't take it. You can even see where my hand was. Yeah. Hey, look. It's what? It's the uh, hotel key from when we went out there and stayed at the Luxor. Yeah. Oh. Cool. There's some history there. Yeah. So you don't see anything in the console or the... No, that's uh, some stainless steel fasteners. What's this? What's that? No. This no. is where the... Oh, look. It's the uh, overflow, overflow parking pass for the... Uh, when, um, when did we go to Talladega? This was when... It was 2015. Oh, yeah. It's the uh, Xfinity race. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Um, All right. The the search for the key continues. Give me the toolbox. Yeah. I don't know why. You found a plastic key? Yeah. Let me see this thing. Ooh. Yeah, I can smell that. Yeah. It backfired. I don't know what that means. Let me see. Whoa. What do you know? Where'd you find this? In, in here. It is definitely not the key we used, but no. Look, there's a. Oh, I saw that thing. Keyless entry? Yeah. Cool. You used to have keyless entry. Yeah. So, it did something not great, which is backfire, but uh, that means there's something going on. Yeah. This is reminiscent of what I was doing before, though, right? Yeah. I don't know why this key didn't work, though. This does not work. Oh, man. Smoke just then. Smoked. Yeah. Yeah, it's not happy. That's how that's been fired. Yeah. been like the connection on the starter is the starter on this side yeah i think so okay all right so let's see what else is in here um he tried to fire a minute ago and the display's working now oh cool no more thing on Star Wars. Good afternoon, Fiddler. All right, so uh, really, if we could burp that fuel well, that would tell us a lot. I mean, I hear it slightly. Like, it's got an unpleasant sound to it. I think we might need fuel. It was trying to spark, obviously. Right? Yeah. Where's that stupid key? Using that plastic key. Oh, what that is? Is that a 
big. Okay. So that is the starter lug right there. Right next to these two things. I don't know what these two things do. <laughs> There's two of them, and they're running when you turn the ignition on. And they've got a big hose attached to them. It looks like a, a heater hose. I don't know. But those aren't, those aren't doing anything about the running of the car, I don't think. So this thing threw out some oil. Just put the plastic key back in there again. Is it in there? Try to crank it up. Okay. So either all of a sudden we're not getting spark or we're not getting fuel, one of the two. Of course, it's easy to figure one of them goes out just by throwing some, throwing something in there. Yeah. It obviously started to get some fuel, right? Because right, it backfired. You heard it, and I heard it backfire. You heard it try to crank too, right? Yeah, it coughed. But I mean, a fair amount of smoke was in the air after after that first backfire. Well, yeah, and I could smell it too. Yeah, right. All right. Well, let's see if we can throw something in there. Okay. spray a big bunch of gullet down here and then you crank it over okay here you go dude i think it would at least cough on that don't you one of the options is to take the pipe loose i, I think so I almost want to conclude from that that it's not getting spoiled. Okay. Alright. So one of the things you do is take this take this bellows loose and spray it right into the throttle body. Did you yeah. give it, did you did you give it throttle? No. Oh well maybe you need to give it some throttle. Uh, it makes sense. Sorry. I didn't even think about it. Yep. Good call. simple as we don't have fuel in the tank could have evaporated didn't have much to begin with okay well and that would explain the coughing right it does say we've got some yeah i know but a lot of times when one sits for a long time no the fuel way gauge just locks in that last position no there's no way that sending unit's bad those germans would not allow it right well i think yeah there's a service station right there literally 100 feet away yeah we just got to come up with a uh a gas can yeah all right yeah gas cap lock no, no kidding we would have taken care of that a long time ago yeah. we don't play around with that crap okay you got to stick it all the way down in there right yeah, yeah. oh man that's oh man yeah. Dude, that was almost a fail almost means it wasn't a fail yeah but so it there's was... like fail 
and there's not a fail. So that was not a fail. But it was almost. <laughs> I mean, I saw it. It was like, you know what? Look, look, look. There's a little bit of drip right Shut there. Shut up. <laughs> there's, I, I really hate that. It's almost a fail. All right. So what does that really mean? It means nothing. It's a, it's a worthless statement. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know about that. I, I suspect that it was actually a very productive statement. <laughs> Given your ire and the aggravation. <laughs> that made it all worthwhile. Sure. Yes, it did. <laughs> Man, this is taking forever. I thought she fixed that thing. Well, I semi fixed it. Now it doesn't have a, a vent. Yeah. Well, I can correct that. Go ahead. I don't know, it's gonna be pretty tough to stab that. Let's just bit the hole real quick so we don't slip it in there. Lawyer approved. It's going a lot better now. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Now you really fixed it. I hate these new gas cans. Lawyers make everything better. No, Just ask them. That's not true. That's a lie. I know. It feels like we're not getting the last bit out of here. Stop me if you've heard this one before. <laughs> what do you call 18,000 lawyers at the bottom of the ocean? A good start. <laughs> I have heard you've that. heard that before. Oh, oh, that's a fail. Oh, that's your hole. <laughs> but it, it was necessary. Obviously not. <laughs> Yes, it was. No, I'm not using it. I'm covering it up to get the last bit of gas out of it. Ugh. You know, two gallons might not be enough. It really might not be, but I say we give it a shot. Think it's going to hurt anything? I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Look at this. Look at it. That's a, that is a robust little guard yeah. there. <laughs> it didn't glad, go down in there. I'm glad that didn't happen. That could have been bad. Alright. I'm going to cycle it several times. Yeah. Oh man, I forgot about this window. Yeah, I did too. I just did that to get some ventilation. And I was like, yeah, whoops. All it is is those rollers. Yeah. Alright. See how much better the dash is working? Yeah. Oh, it sounds different. All right, here we go. The uh, dinging is extremely annoying. Yeah, it's great for the... For the audience retention? Yeah, there you go. I would say I would say watch this video just for the ding. Yeah. The donger. Alright. I'll just do this fucking do anything. Um, you know, I can give it another squirt, but maybe that'll be worth something to do that. Alright. sounding pretty good from the standpoint of the engine itself we're just not getting fuel left i don't wonder if we shouldn't go ahead and put a couple more gallons in it i really want to find where this fuel rail is so i can burp the fuel rail that would tell me a lot well we are showing over a quarter of a tank now oh that showed up what yeah in there? it did it did show up you know what that means it could be so maybe it's underneath this thing here Bolt holding it on, of course. So it could be a deal like the, um, you know, like the uh, ruckus truck where it's it's making noise but it's not pumping. Yeah. So that's something else to think about. Okay. 
maybe it's on this side of the tire over here. Uh, I see something there. Right. Yep, that's it. Sweet. We have found look at that little little switches to open everything. Crazy. There it is underneath this. Is this is the six? access Phillips head. Phillips head. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we got a drill in there, right? I guess I could just use the Phillips head. It's just yeah. six screws, five screws. I guess it could be hotter. Yeah, it definitely could be hotter. It was hotter the other day for sure. Bad it. Uh, So we have these M parallels on here and they're wider than the stock tire and we didn't realize it but on one trip we had it loaded down with a bunch of stuff this is not with you Lee this was with Pipa um, it was sitting a little lower and the inside of the tire was rubbing against the inner wheel well and ruined the tires no that happened to us also on the uh, trip back from Woodward it did yep because once again we had it loaded up yep Sure. And it was barely making contact with that yeah. inside. It was the uh, driver's side rear. Yeah, so we ruined that tire. And, and we didn't even realize that's what that's what ruined it. We we're like, oh, well, I guess we. I don't know what I was thinking, but now we know. And then we hammered it over. Maybe we fixed that now. I don't know. Maybe. Because I remember the last time we really drove it. I drove it here from work and from from the house to work. And it didn't overheat, but it was getting warm on me. And I was like, we need to park this thing and figure out what to do with it. And then we never did anything with it. Yeah, we parked it inside. Yeah. And then whenever we moved operations over here to this building. Then we did push it over here. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. All right, now. All right, there she is. So go ahead and... Uh, Cycle it. Yeah. All right. Whoa. More dinging. You're welcome. I guess I gotta pull the key every time. Are you, are you cycling it? Yeah. Yeah, it's not doing anything. I wonder if it's not in here. The cycle light's not in here. Maybe it's mounted on the brain. Here, let me, let me, let me do a little, ch hand me my phone, let me do a little check and see where the fuel pump is on this thing. Because it was almost acting like I could hear it underneath the, the middle seat. You know, it could be. What's that? That that key ended up at my house. Yeah. Maybe I pulled it out of there thinking, oh, we don't need to leave it there. And then uh, took it home with me. And then it ended up in my house. Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. No. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, did you just break your glasses? Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I don't know, man. Well, at least they're cheap. Yeah, they were in my pocket. All right, well, I'm going to take the thing loose. Per Haynes' instruction, we uh, have removed the negative battery terminal. So we are safe to now remove the fuel pump. That's 13. What'd you do with the 10? It's over here. Did you take your eyes off of it? It should be in a cold Look at it, it's trying to escape. Mm -hmm. I don't know, this looks too big. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep this kid friendly. <laughs> I, I mean, I, she was not talking, oh, you, listen, thought, oh, listen, you thought it was I, something I, bad? I've, I've let all sorts of things slide, so. <laughs> that gets Said. I got something that's kid friendly. Oh my goodness, that <laughs> can totally taken wrong. That is no good. No, I mean, it produces kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Again, this is no good. There's nothing good about this. You can edit it out later. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> this is just gratuitous bolt twisting anyway. Mm -hmm. I gave him off some gratuitous bolt twisting. Oh man. Yeah, that's it. All this is getting edited out. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Some gratuitous bolt twisting. I love that. 
I don't even know what that means. I don't either. I guess I'm not to that advanced. Stage Ow! Yet. Dang it! That's what you get for being a gigantor. Yeah, that's what I get. That's exactly what I get. But how does this stupid little Rube Goldberg work? Look at this thing. Yeah. Wacky Germans. Those wacky Germans. Now this is something else we can do to test before we pull all this out. S cycle it. Yeah. That way we can get it fuel. Works everywhere. Here. Yeah. And catches fire. I love this. Like this analogy. Okay. Uh, that would require rehooking the <laughs> negative battery terminal. Yeah, right. I know. But we're still going to probably, that'd probably be good to do. It won't be so hard to do now that. Talk on it. I hate little fiddly things. Fiddly things, fiddly cars. I'm trying to see a trend here. I was really hoping this would have gone faster. Yeah, right. Where the production value is definitely diminished. Yeah. Ha, mm. huh, much better. I still don't know how to get this big plug off here. I mean, it's... Look at it. What does it look like to you? Looks like it kind of... Looks like it wants to go this way. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. It has to go okay, this so way. Okay, so we need to be, go, go, uh, grab us a flathead and let's try to pry it backward. Yeah. Yeah, I concur. Yeah. All right, you want to, um, before we take this loose, you want to see if... Uh, we get any squirt out of these things? Yeah. Hold on a second. Wait. No, oh, look at that. Oh, well, there's fuel. That tells me, man, I, I'm pretty sure. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. All okay, right. Hold on. Uh, you, uh, all right, give me something to put on top of it. Well, you know what? It's just going to come squirting out of one of these. I'll just yeah, go ahead and do it. Wait, okay. let me hold on. I'll have this. Yeah. Be fine to see you. Sparks. Gosh. What was this sparks? Yeah, sparks. Well, at least we don't have like the heavy aroma of fuel vapors. Yeah, so nothing. Okay, well, that's it. That's our answer. Okay. All right. Cool. So, I guess the next step is to see if uh, O'Reilly's has got the uh, fuel pump <laughs> yeah, in right. stock. I'm going to bet they've got it in stock. They don't have it. Why? Why, why wouldn't they have it? <sighs> okay. This is a very common... Set up now. Yeah, right. Red color. Okay, I want to see. Let's see. Okay, let's... Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. Unlike some people we know, we are not sponsored by O'Reilly's. Yeah. So but hey, so maybe that'll happen one of these days. Maybe we should go after Napa. No. <laughs> Yeah, but those guys, the Napa ones, the guys always seem to be like better than everybody else. Yeah, this one in town certainly feels like, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. No, it's not very nice, is it? No, it's not nice. Even if it's true. My mama said. <laughs> there you go. If you can't say something nice, don't say it at all. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to be nice. We're going to be three little Fonzies. And what's Fonzie like? He's, he's cool. That's right. And that's what we're going to do. All right, so what's going on here? I don't know. Why would you need all that? Oh, we got a zip tie. I see a zip tie. Hey, heck? Where's the pump? That's oh, just sending it's unit. A sending, it's a sending unit. Oh. The pump is down in here. 
Oh, that's awesome. Glad we put some more fuel in. Well, it's going to be a, a big issue yet. Dang it. But I mean, like, this is like, why wouldn't it come out with that, you know? I'm going to have to read the daggum article to figure out how to get the thing out of here. All right. I mean, it looks like it should just come out. There's a little tab here. Hold on. Hold on. Something just happened. Dang it. I wonder if it's a relay. You know what? Because this thing's not even trying to do anything. Okay. Here. Pocket knife on you. Yeah. Zip tie holding this thing in. She had a light on you, too. Do I have my phone back here now? Yeah, I did. God damn it. There she is. There's a zip tie holding this on here. That means it's been replaced before. It's been called that before, but not by you. Come on, there's a zip tie right there. Come on, you didn't say anything about my reference. Sorry. I'm busy trying to get a decent shot here. Right. Oh. Ah, sorry. What's wrong with you today? I don't know. No one heard it though. Mm. <laughs> he said shot, he says. Okay. Uh, I just severed the wire. Oh. Now it's definitely not going to work. Gosh. Piece of crap. Are you kidding me? Look what I did. I'm trying to cut the zip tie loose. That's awesome. It doesn't look bad. Well, they never do. Well, they never do, Pilgrim. Mm. Man, your phone is like precariously hurt. <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It's like, I'm going for it. <laughs> guys. This guy's been mistreating me. Uh, wait, why did it have to go to that? Why? why? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just listening to the phone. Oh, you are, yeah. yeah I mean, if you're going to listen to stuff, that's what it's going to say. It's going to say that, huh? Yeah, it's going to say, hey, he mistreated me. No, it's not going to say that. You should have seen what happened to my predecessor. <laughs> That's the reason why I'm here. I knew I was in Did, trouble. What happened to his predecessor? Do <laughs> pray tell. Well, it didn't really live to tell the tale, did it? Did did not. That's true. Mister, I keep a phone for eight years. Yep. I mean, I am I am impressed. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Yep. How long you can keep a phone? All right. So look, one thing we can do is pretty sure we have a tester, circuit tester back there. If we're not getting power to this, that tells us that it's not this, you know? Mm, yeah, man. I don't like any of this. You think we're opening up? I can't up? believe I cut that in two so easily. And you really think we're, uh... Seems like a bad idea to risk a spark. You're definitely washing your hands before you do it. Yeah, well... In all reality, we could take it in there and put it on a battery. Yeah, I like that. Do we have another battery that works? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Great question. Are you kidding me right now? It's too fat to stick in there? Mm, that's, that's what she said. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, I mean, you broke the spade, oh. so. Did you get it? Oh. It felt cold, and I, and I translated that as warm. You lousy sack of crap. Yeah, this. Oh, oh man. Mm. Uh, I get a gooey. little gummy. That's the. But the sock looks good, so. Yeah, the sock looks great. In fact, the fuel down in the can looks good, too. Yeah, and it doesn't even smell that bad. Yeah. All things considered. It should. It should smell like the alkaline from the depths of hell. Okay. Well, let's take this inside and see what happens. Okay. I mean, I really could just... You don't need anything that can spark something, huh? God damn it! Well, that'll get your attention. 
<laughs> Tommy, tell me you got that on film. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the hood shot. If you didn't see that, mm. uh, and uh, of course when you're talking about an explosion, possibly thinking that there might be you really possibly think it could be an explosion. <laughs> <laughs> a loud, a sudden loud noise is not what you want. You need some help, Gigantor. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's get inside and see if we can figure this out. Hang on, let it touch itself is what I did. I was pushing on it, you know. If I could just get it to do something. Well, it felt like it kicked just a little bit in my hand. Yeah. One I time. I didn't get that, so that would make sense if you got it, not me. Cause, oh. Did you get something? Where are you going? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I think you're All right, so let me let me just ask you this. You you really want to go? Let, let, let's just say that that you get it running here. I just want to. All right. I want to hear it do something. You, you really want to go through all the trouble to put that back in? No, okay. of course not. All right. Of course not. I just want to. No, it's dead. It's it, dead, Jim. How could it be dead? These things just don't make sense. Well, obviously the Germans prepared for that possibility. They, they put a little clock in there. Oh, they did. Yeah, that's that's what it is. It was a doomsday clock. It's, <laughs> it's going to destruct. If you don't crank it up within X amount of days, this is going to go bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Call Let's call O'Reilly's. This will be awesome. Place your bets, Jim. O'Reilly <laughs> Okay, so she's not going to run today. Obviously, we need a fuel pump. It's going to be a situation where we where we have to come back and uh, hit it again once we get that. Ordering it from Rock Auto as we speak. So in the meantime, I guess I'm going to secure this somehow so that none furry creatures or other terrible things get down in there. So, yeah, this will be fun. Okay, so unless you ordered something else from Rock Auto that I didn't know about, we should have our fuel pump. It's from Bosch. This dude, I just opened it before. Oh yeah, look, that's the whole thing, so we don't need that other piece. Okay. Now, where's the plastic thing we took off the other fuel pump? It's inside. We need to double check that it's the same as this plastic thing. Okay, I can go grab it. Cause this looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? Yeah, I guess it's the same thing. Looks pretty similar to me. To your point though, if I remember correctly, it does seem a little bit different. Yeah, it does. Oh, let me grab it. In the interest of speeding things up, we're going to switch to voice over here. As you saw, we messed up the electrical connection to the pump. And so we have to fix that. Thankfully, Bosch supplied some spade connectors and a little block to put the spade connectors in. Unfortunately, we decided not to use the block and just connected the spade connectors directly to the pump. And that, of course, will come back to bite us, as you'll see.
You don't have a baseball card collection. <laughs> I know. All right. But it's like the thing they always talk about with the kids. Oh. Okay, this is where we all die. Yeah. Nice, because it's going to make a spark. I want you to have my baseball card collection. Yeah. All right. If, if we both die, honey, I love you. All right, we're still here. Okay, how do we, oh, there it is. Okay. Why is that on? There we go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Maybe. You want me to try to turn it over? Yes. I'll, I'll, try, I'll cycle it one more time. One is the relay. So we found a circuit tester and uh, we're going to check and see if we're actually getting power back there to the pump. Okay, I am not getting power to 23. Yeah. What's something else that'd be ignition only here? Okay, 23, I'm on it. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we need to take it back there now and, yeah. and check it while I'm cranking it. Oh, I was thinking you too. <laughs> okay. I was thinking knowing is half the battle. Right. I was thinking that, that U2 song. It's probably very obscure. Nobody's going to be able to relate to. Yeah, yeah, you're just like a super fan. Super fan. <laughs> super fans. Bill Swirsky's super fan. There's another one. Okay. I'm glad I went ahead and just started all these. Yeah. Well, it was it was very smart. I'll tell you what else was smart. What? Leaving that key in the ignition so it can sit there and go ding. But you know what? You can just suspend this amazing video for a few seconds and pull it out. I think I'll do that. Okay. I guarantee you it came unplugged in there when I was messing all around with this. That's going to be my favorite story of the year. Right now, let's just look that in there for first. Oh, you got my phone here, sir? No, no, I got don't. my phone right here. Dead gummit. Okay. Let's see what we got. Yep. They're both unplugged. That's awesome. At least one of them for sure is. Mm. Mm. A lousy sack of excrement. Okay, now I'm trying to get my hand down in here. I can't even see if one of them's still plugged in or not. I don't think it is though. take two for this but so what about that gasket oh that gasket goes all the way up top okay. all right now this time i want you to did put we lose the other one on. the other clamp too mm, that i don't know oh, i don't see you i mean neither one of them has a clamp on it now 
That's awesome. What do we do with it? I don't know. I don't know if I even filmed that. I got it really loose. Down in the fuel tank. It's probably where both of them are now. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> At the very least, we can get just test it anyway. Okay. Alright, let's take three words. Yeah. It's getting exciting in here. Yeah, I'm doing it. Anyway, this is the quietest fuel pump I've ever heard. Or not heard. Yeah, right. So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's idle now. Oh, I cut it off. Yes, okay. This is what it was doing the last time we cranked it up. Yeah. So we're not getting something. Something's not right. Something is not seeing some kind of signal from like the air. Let's see here. Ooh, she's rich. Okay, so this is this is this. Well, that's plugged off. Okay. So there's that. Um, a lot of times the bellows being yeah that cracked, intake would but, crack but but this this thing on Gabriel's car kept blowing off there's like a tube in here and if it blows off it runs terribly Let's see. this is really a, a 
bad location to try to get to underneath this intake. I was trying to put a vacuum line on or something. So the last time we drove it, or we cranked it to move it or whatever, that's what it was doing right there, what it just did. Yep. These have been plugged off right here. Yep. Obviously. The guy who did the five speed swap probably did that. That's what it was. It's not hot under there. That alternator's it? freaking hot. <laughs> Why would that be so hot? Mm, that's a really good question. It's probably mm. probably a new one in our future. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is flaming hot. Yeah, it's probably gonna frag on us. I gotta get this thing back on here. I can see it. Can you shine your light through that hole right there? Oh yeah? I'm waiting to start it. Okay. Let me uh let me make note of this uh, customer's wishes and uh I'll be right out there. Okay. Let's see this works. Whenever that thing just blow off a girl's car, it would do just like that. Uh-huh. Now I've got it nice and seated. I might even be able to pull it out of here. Oh, well that's gonna be awesome sauce. Mm -hmm. I already kind of got everything prepped. Okay. All right. We'll see what happens. Okay. Now, don't forget, we got a flat tire over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I think it's just a flat tire, man. And you've got resistance in the back. <laughs> Fantastic. No. It's a. Uh, I don't think it's got a miss. I bet you one of those plug, one of those coils, coil packs, is, uh, is full of oil. One of those coil valleys. Yeah. Awesome. It's moved. The first time it's moved direction under its own power in what six years? It's at least six years. More, probably more like seven. 2017, 2016. Yeah, it was the fourth crap tuna. Yeah. Yeah, so at least 2017. I'm thinking 2016. Mm -hmm. Oh. We'll just go ahead and call it seven. This thing, even in a sterling state, looks awesome. Yeah, it does. All right, man. I call that a win. I call it a win, too. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Well, uh, I think our next video is going to be, like, unfortunately, we uh, we didn't do Trans Slam, but next week, yeah. next, next week, clean up and try to fix that miss. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely clean this up. 
try to fix the miss, get that thing back out on the road and just enjoy it. It's a great machine. We, we really, when it was running smooth and everything, it was great. So, but uh, we definitely want to try to do some sort of deal for Translammed. I know that there's gonna be some traveling going on next week. So that's what we might do, or we might be able to come back and do this as well. So, anyway, thanks for watching. And if you haven't, please give us a, a thumbs up, thumbs and, up uh, and, subscribe. and subscribe to it. Comment, tell us what you like. Thanks guys. Thanks. Awesome.